Select a typical cervical vertebra and describe its features. This is a typical cervical vertebra. It has an oval shaped body. And here is the pedicle. And here is the lamina. And between the pedicle and lamina, between the junction, we have the superior articular process. Uh, and here we have the inferior articular processes. And uh, this is the transverse process of the uh, cervical vertebra. This is the anterior tubercle of the transverse process. And this is, this is the posterior tubercle of the transverse process. This is the foramen transversarium which perforate the transverse process. And this is the vertebral foramen. It is large. And here is the uh, spine of the cervical vertebra. And it is bifid. Show me the articulation between typical cervical vertebrae. This is the superior articular processes of the cervical vertebra. And these are the inferior articular processes of the cervical vertebra. So they attach like this. What are the boundaries of posterior triangle of the neck? Posterior triangle is bounded anteriorly by the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, posteriorly by the anterior border of the trapezius, and inferiorly by the middle one third of the clavicle. What are the contents of it? Spinal accessory nerve, cutaneous branches of cervical plexus, transverse cervical artery and vein, occipital artery, lymph node. Tell me about the lymph nodes of head and neck. Lymph nodes of the head and neck can be grouped into horizontal lymph nodes and vertical lymph nodes. Horizontal lymph nodes situated around the junction of head with the neck, submental, submandibular, preauricular, mastoid and suboccipital nodes belongs to the horizontal group of lymph nodes. They drain superficial structures of the head and drain into the deep cervical nodes. There are two types of vertical lymph nodes superficial cervical and deep cervical lymph nodes. Superficial cervical lymph nodes lie along the external jugular vein. Deep cervical lymph nodes lie along the internal jugular what vein. What nodes become enlarged in tonsillitis? Jugular digastric lymph nodes, which drains the palatine tonsils. What are the components of Waldeer's ring? Nasopharyngeal tonsils, also known as adenoids, two tubal tonsils, to palatine tonsils and lingual tonsils. Which lymph nodes undergo atrophy after puberty? Esopharyngeal tonsil and palatine tonsils. Tell me about the lymph drainage of larynx. Lymph vessels of the area above the vocal cords are drained into the upper deep cervical lymph node and the lymph vessels from the area below the vocal cords are drained into lower cervical deep lymph So, does the area of larynx above the vocal cords can get affected by a carcinoma of the area? below the vocal cords. Yes, because posteriorly the lymph vessels freely communicate with each other. What are the nerves that supply the muscles of larynx? All intrinsic muscles of the larynx except cricothyroid is supplied by recurrent laryngeal nerve and cricothyroid muscle is supplied by the external branch of the superior laryngeal nerve. Why these nerves have a risk of damaging during thyroidectomy? As they are closely related to the arteries which supply the thyroid gland, they can be ligated with them together. Okay, what is that relation? Superior thyroid artery is related to the external laryngeal nerve. Inferior thyroid artery is related to the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Tell me another structure that can be inadvertently removed during a thyroidectomy. Parathyroid glands.